welcome to episode 21 of the Youth Squad Legends series with AFC Wimbledon. So it's March the 24th, 2021. We're getting to the nitty gritty, bum squeaky time in the season. We're clinging on to the final playoff spot. This is some excellent drama right here. Oh wait, no, we can't go straight into the game. FIFA Tracker is now live for FIFA 20 saves. If you don't know what it is, it's a website where you can upload your save and just look at all the player's stats. It is so useful. I'll put my save down in the description box and a link to FIFA Tracker if you wanna have a look at this save. Someone's been hiding a dark, dark secret. Isn't that right, Meredith Ellis? He's a better centre back than a striker. 53 overall as a striker, 55 overall as a centre back. So guess what? Man gonna play center back. <laughs> AFC Wimbledon against Accrington Stanley. Can't go worse than last episode, can it? It's physically impossible for it to go worse than last episode. Oh, and, and that says it all, really. We've just scored within three minutes. So that's cool. Is it Cosmo? Yes, it is. Hey, oh my goodness, I've got max action flags. That's insane. That's insane. Oh, that is so sick. I thought it was just flags in the stadium itself. No, my corner flags are max action corner flags. Oh, cupcake, full of cupcake. Give me some cupcake, yes. Cosmo's turning out to be a decent player. A Romanian that finally takes the boxes. Juwan just inside, Valentin Carby are not the best of touches, but somehow lucky enough to keep it going. Renny Renner inside, Valentin Carby are doesn't stretch. This is very dominant early on from Wimbledon. This should be as Spencer Hughes. Very well timed in the tackle. Brilliant start, exactly what we needed. Savan, is it gonna drop to him? Yes, Sarkis Savan, go back. Yeah, Renny Renner, edge of the box. Oh, interception by Meredith Ellis. Who would have thunk it? Got the physicality to play centre back, so why not? Kirill Bondarchuk with that speed. Oh, doesn't get that one right. Using the triangle between Cosma Payton and Spencer Hughes to get further forward. Eden Payton in with the corner kick. And Ruben Cook should have done more there. Someone in the comment section noticed that Eden Payton dropped to a 60 overall. That's because of the position change. Sometimes it's a little bit delayed. So if you've seen like weird changes to the overalls, that'll be why. Ball in. Bondarchuk, it's a goal. Man, I'm getting good at them corners. Wimbledon 2, Accrington Stanley 0. Uh, uh. Oh, I tell you what I'd like us to do. I just talked about that FIFA tracker website, yeah? I want you guys to be my scouts. Take a look at all the generated players that I could afford that are not the ones that I created as a wonder kid and just tell me about them in the comments section. Tell me why you think that they would improve this squad. That would be pretty sick, actually. So you go and do that. I'm definitely gonna be in the market for a striker this summer. But if the right player comes along for any position, I'll be interested. Start your comment with like, hashtag scout. Give me his name, his position, Stuff like his height, his skill moves. I might even make a template as the pin message. I don't know. Cosmo, through ball, Renny Renner has got to score that, and that's exactly why we need another forward. There's too much pressure on Stiapovic scoring all the goals. We need to share it out. We need to distribute. Cosmo probably has the same skill set as Vidigal and Della Giannis, but he's getting more involved. He wants to be playing football. Meredith Ellis is actually a really good centre-back. This is genuinely bonkers. It's Kirill Bondarchuk with no help at the moment, but here's Sarkis Savan. Good ball in, could possibly get someone. A goal of Renny Renner's trying to stand in tackle in the box instead of attempting the shot. Six shots on target for AFC Wimbledon. A total of zero for Accrington Stanley. Due one. Humiliated that winger. Say this is mostly the fringe players as well. This has been really, really impressive. Is that a shot on target from Accrington Stanley? Finally, 80 minutes have gone in this game. It's about as easy as we're going to get it this season. Wimbledon 2, Accrington Stanley 0. I can't imagine the other games being that comfortable. So he could have lured me into a full sense of security. AFC Wimbledon now up against Cheltenham Town. Oh, why is Dalibor Beckett so far forward? That's a bit of an issue. Well, uh, Enzo Bardi! A Conquo hold up and plays it to Boris Stiapovich. What a counter attack from AFC Wimbledon! Come on then. The simplest of finishes from Boris Stiapovic. He is loving life in the blue. So important as a team for us to not get bogged down with what happened 
in episode 20. These players are better than that. We know these players are better than that. And it was so bizarre that I don't think we'll see the likes again this series. Great through ball. Now it's Boris Stiapovich with the finish. It's 2-0 Wimbledon. Ah! Big save, Enzo Body. Yes, mate. Bright Chateau. This is on another level, boys. We got left bikes flicking it over attackers. The kind of swagger that we want to see. A Conquo. Where's O'Flannery? He should be coming inside. 19 yards. I think I can do this. I have scored a couple of free kicks. Go on, Django. Score. Yes. Oh, we've hit the post from the free kick, and that's the last action. Of the first half. Django Swinkles. Oh, you love to see it. And he just opens up that space for Boris Stiapovich. A Conquo is now offside, apparently. I thought it was on. I don't know if teams are getting more wise to the strengths of Calamo Flannery, but I'm seeing way tighter marking on him. I swear they're running a five at the back, like a 5-3-2. Unless it's a 5-4-1, we don't have, like, much advantage. I don't think that's the case. I'm sure they're running 5-3-2, which means that we should overload them on the wings and that is absolutely not the case those wing bikes have probably been Cheltenham Town's best players let's hope that that is just a consolation goal there's not much time for Cheltenham Town and we've got possession again to admit thank you very much referee this thing has to go up for Cheltenham Town and they are not doing that there's no urgency well done Oconquo the Oconquo press has won as the game Wimbledon 2 Cheltenham Town 1 I've not suffered a direct X error yet looking more and more likely that playoffs are gonna happen Northampton Town have dropped off it's a five point gap third game Newport County against AFC Wimbledon Nutter and Nichols through ball Eden Payton he's gonna be one-on-one -on -one with the keeper Eden Payton bless it oh this is such a contrast gotta be Ashes surely well it's a bit rough around the edges but Ashes done very well there and he pushes into midfield not to Nichols he's free Oh, that would have been a great goal. Oh, yes. I am liking Brian Asher. Brian Twain is like 67 overall. We're not going to miss him. Man, Eden Payton is having some success on this side. Valentin Carbio and a Renny Renner. It's like we've survived FIFA's trial by fire. Maybe that's why he wasn't a great striker. Because he's been a centre-back all along. Well, I don't tell that to Victor Mathis. Oh, finish! Renny Renner on the volley! Da -da 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 -da. Oh, Renny Renner! We're going into, like, the third season, and I'm still trying to find the right position for some of these players. But that's a part of the process, trying to find exactly where these players fit. They're good players, most of them. I don't know about Celestino Vidigal, but he's got a chance now. That's not... Not a bad pass, was slightly offside. Go on, Rennie Renner. For the hat trick, Rennie Renner on the chip. Oh! Big save! Andreasen, you are a top, top man! The defender nearest is Meredith Ellis, and that's another interception. I'm actually speechless. Nutter Nichols, got it before! We've hit the crossbar. Could have done with a bit of finesse there, but we all know Nutter Nichols doesn't know what finesse is. Celestino Vidigal, he said, seen a bit to Ledbitter, who's one of the best right backs in this league. Celestino Vinigal still going great save. Seriously, what is with writing players off in this series and them turning out to be absolute gems? It's gonna be a clean sheet for Brian Asher and Meredith Ellis. Andreasen in the net, shout out to you, mate. Good goalkeeping. The cupcake is pleased. Durante, what have you done to this team? So next up, we have AFC Wimbledon against Scunthorpe United. Is that Della Giannis? Slightly looks a little bit like Joseph Brady from the last series. Kickoff in this one, full of confidence. Django Swinkles. Well, he, he's turned that man like he wasn't even there through ball. Oh, it's lovely. Django Swinkles is so good at times. Top-notch midfielder for this league. If we properly go on a run, automatics are certainly there for the taking. I don't want to do it. I like the drama of the playoffs. But I'm not going to fix games to ensure that we play in the playoffs, especially when Mansfield are around. Has the inclusion of Dele Giannis, who's labelled as a central defensive midfielder, allowed Django Swinkles a bit more room to breathe up front. Oh, Stiapovic might be off again. Go on, Boris! Stiapovic! Oh, it's just disgusting! I am covered in filth. Django Swinkles!
Charles. Oh, is that Brian Chanzo getting forward? Go on, my son. Oh! A conquo. Can you find Eric Melville? Maybe. He's going to be forced well wide. Cross has gone in, though. Delegionis, big save by the goalkeeper. Vieira Nan, Delegionis. Easy pass. Stiapovic. And a run from Django. Swing. Cut, cut. Mm -hmm. Mm. I mean, finish wasn't there. There's a block. In comes Bright Chato. Doesn't get a touch on it. Oh, ball's gone in. Scunthorpe have got a goal. Nearly there. Just a one more attack from Scunthorpe. And that's better. <laughs> from Bright Chato. Enzo Bardi doing his thing full time. Wimbledon 2, Scunthorpe 1. That has been an absolute pleasure, boys. Boris Stiapovic definitely deserves all the praise. Mansfield Town have climbed up to third place. The thing is, AFC Wimbledon, well, they might be in sixth, three points behind. It's possibly on. Like, you can't count us out now. I'm going to be smarter than the average bear and send rude penis to bring me back physically strong players. I want to go to the Democratic Republic of Congo. Because we're scouting physically strong players, he can't bring me back any goalkeepers. We have stopped him from scouting goalkeepers. Genius. We are also off to Gibraltar and the Philippines. There we go. Thank you ever so much for watching this episode of Youth Squad Legends. This has been Cutsy. If you've enjoyed watching it, then please give the video a like. If you're not subscribed around here yet, then there's a big red box down below. And press the bell icon for mobile notifications. I will see you next time. <laughs>